So, new trailer just dropped. I just got the message like a long time ago when I was at work and Dexter told me about it, told me to check it out. So let's do this. See my first first reaction towards it. Let's see this one. Huh, she killed Rev. Well, there's like a thousand of them. Nice ass. <laughs> oh, it's a jump pad. Or jump. Well, I guess this party is going to last a bit longer than I had hoped. Damn. The quest for the broken ghost has begun. At least Thunderdome was okay. Yep, at least Thunderdome's okay. Hmm. Damn, nice ass. Just be careful. And don't die. Here go again. Hmm. Start here. More shitty music. Gosh, come on, respawn. Discover clues. Huh. That's what it looks like. I heard there's treasure. Oh, that's kind of cool. A little objective. Hmm. New battle pass. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's a beautiful ass fucking wingman. Oh, they're fixing King's Canyon. Oh, that's bullshit. So, how do I feel about this? So, how I'm feeling about this gameplay trailer, it's well, it's decent, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, so, what I think, so what, so what I'm thinking about is this new trailer or this new gameplay that we're getting is this whole treasure hunt bullshit. Now, obviously this looks like a special event kind of thing, so that's pretty cool. And I really like the fact that Apex has given us these crazy cool events that's lure friendly and all that junk like that. I kind of think that this new event is a capture the flag kind of thing. So pretty much, uh, so if it's an event, right, this doesn't look like it's solo, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't look like, you know, you and your friends jump into this area and look for these clues with a timer you know what i mean so to be honest i think and this is actually a pretty cool idea so let's say one character or let's say you and a group of friends right you jump in you guys are looking for clues looking for the treasure and let's say you guys found like i don't know four or five treasure packs and obviously they look like keys or some shit you know to get a treasure an actual like treasure so let's say another team member comes in knocks your whole squad out and then they just take all your stuff you know they take the treasures that you found and now they're one step closer or actually they have more steps closer to solving the mystery i i think this is that mode i think that's what's going to happen in this mode so it's kind of like a capture the flag kind of thing you know and we're all if we're all familiar with capture the flag in certain games right so but for those of you who are not familiar well if i can sum it up you capture flags and bring them back to your base. In most first-person shooter games, that's around, but I think people prefer King of the Hill and Team Deathmatch, so... But who hasn't played those games in a while, right? So, I personally think that's what this uh, treasure hunt bullshit is. Can't capture the flag kind of thing, but let's find out what bullshit is there, you know? And... As for Loba, she is quite interesting with her abilities. The uh, that stupid ring that she throws to teleport herself. Obviously, it'll, I don't think it works for the whole team, 
if I can make it, I don't think it's going to, I think it's only going to work for her because, like I was explaining to Dexter earlier, uh, I know you guys weren't there, obviously you can't hear, but she would be very beneficial to the team, obviously, with that uh, tactical ability, which is throwing that bracelet and teleporting to a spot wherever she threw it. Now, I don't, I think that'll be perfectly balanced, but if she, if she's able to throw it further away, so if I can give an example. Okay, so here's an example, right? Now, let's say, let's say there's an enemy squad right there, right? Or, yeah, let's say there's an enemy squad right there. See where I shot? Enemy squad right there, and we gotta run up there. So, with Loba's mechanic, Here's my partners here, and they're shooting, 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 and they're up there, they're shooting right back at us, right? So, let's say this is Loba. She would be... She would be a perfect character to flank, so let's say they're right there. Throw this. Now she's right... Now she'd be right here, right behind them, right? There's the enemy. Our squad's right there. And pa pa pa. So pretty much that's all I can think about is that's how her ability is going to work. Now I picked Wraith because Wraith is known to just dive into that. Now another demonstration I can bring up is like talking about the high ground. So let's say, let's say that's an enemy right there. Oh no, let's say that's an enemy right here. And we're down here. That sucks. They have the high ground. We can barely hit them. We got to keep moving in, right? So now, this is Loba throwing her little thing. And then we jump. If it lands perfectly, then she can be able to drop, be right behind them and flank them out, giving us enough time for our team to climb up here and finish them off. And then we got the high ground. So that's what I'm thinking is that's how Loba works. Is that if she throws that ring, then she's quite the... She's a good flanker, now that you think about it. Because now she's got... She's obviously going to be faster than Wraith because... I mean, Wraith can't move as quickly in her dome. So pretty much she's going to give her a run for her money. But to be honest, I we all know Wraith is just to... Oh shit, I'm getting shot. Hey, disappear. Hey. I'm over here now. But Dexter made a good point that Wraith's disappearing, it kind of sucks because you get to see where she's going. Now, me personally, I hate Wraith players, so that's all I can think about is being happy that I can find out where this bitch is at. Oh, now, but here's an example. Now, create that portal here, yada, yada, yada. So, Another demonstration. Enemy teams are up there. We want that location. So I'm Loba. I tell you guys, okay, hide back here, flank them. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm Loba, Loba Grande. Here I am right now, flanking them. That wasn't supposed to happen, but you guys get what I mean. So you guys, my team is hiding back here. We need to take that. I'm Loba. Yeah. Yeah. Here I am. So, yeah, Loba's going to be quite an effective legend. She's probably, she's going to be really good. As much as I dislike her character and dislike her backstory and dislike everything about her, she's going to be quite a good-ass legend. Especially for flanking, and she's very beneficial to the team because obviously her uh, her ultimate. This is spec speculism. Speculism, <laughs> I can't say that word right. She's going to be able to steal shit. So she's going to summon a stupid dome. Or what do you call it? She's going to summon a... Uh, what do you call that? The same thing that Revenant uses. The totem. She's going to summon a totem that's able to steal nearby loot. So that's pretty helpful. Because then we can get into cover. So let's say we killed that entire squad up there. And we want to get into cover. We put a totem right here. And just loot shit without having to get our asses kicked. So 
that's pretty effective. And and another thing too is that if you have Gibraltar on the team, Gibraltar can drop the shield, she drops her ultimate, steal shit without getting shot by a fucking dumbass turbo charger, what did they call it? Stupid fucking charge rifle? Yeah, so. So, my final thoughts on Loba is she's gonna be a good legend. No doubt about it. She's gonna be one of the most best and helpful legends with flanking and item management. I think she's also gonna have a downfall, which would be this right here. She's going to have low profile. I guarantee it. Like I don't well, I don't wanna guarantee it, but I'm pretty sure she's gonna have low profile. More difficult to hit, but incoming damage is increased by 5%. So, yeah. I think that's going to be her flaw. Which is a good thing, because, you know, if she's on the team like that, I got a feeling they're going to buff her too, because let's say that... Let's say she can throw it that far away. That's kind of overpowering, if you think about it. But it would make sense, because you can throw an Arc Star that far. So, hmm... And plus, another thing, let's say we want to get up there, but we can't get up there because there's a Watson fence up there. And how are we going to get up there? We need a flanker. And look at that, you can pretty much throw the Arc Star all the way up there. Mm, never mind. <laughs> but you guys get what I mean, right? I mean, if you were able to throw something up there, there is a chance, like, look at that. I'm pretty sure I can make it. Look, I made it up there. Oh, actually, no, I didn't. Okay, here, I'm pretending to be Loba. Hi, cheese, dig it on day. Crap. Oh, that was actually pretty cool. Okay, look, it, it went up there. At least, kind of. But see what I mean? Loba would be that effective that I have enough time to get up there and and just fucking I have enough time to just get up there and go bah, 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 bah. come on guys get up here you stupid sons of bitches so that's how I'm feeling about Loba, Loba. so yeah I like I said I don't like her but I'm willing to admit that she's going to be a good legend and I will try her out call it a love hate thing because I'll probably like her after that because I'm a fast player, so compared to Martine and compared to Dexter, I'm too fast for them. But you know, when I'm with Jess, we just go forward. So, yeah. So well, that's my view on the video. I, I'm excited for the new season. I hope fucking we get a new gun. I'm hoping we get something from Titanfall, like the car. Remember the car submachine gun? That was a beautiful gun. Oh, well. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you guys later. Can't wait to see the new, new trailer or new new season. I'm tired.